Nanette at Hosenfeld with Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, October 21st, 2019. Looking at precipitation over the past 14 days, you can see it's been exceptionally dry across the southern part of the Great Basin. Uh, there hasn't been uh, hardly any precip precipitation down there over the past 14 days. And even going back 30 days, there's uh, been not much precipitation there either. Uh, there has been some snow across the northern part of the Great Basin. Uh, you can see uh, up to a foot of snow fell in some of the higher elevations of uh, Utah, Nevada, and Idaho. Looking at snow depths, uh, it's obviously still very early season. I'm um, looking at generally below a foot of snowpack in most places. Satellite this morning uh, shows northwesterly flow over the entire Great Basin. For today, uh, ventilation indices will be the highest across portions of western Nevada. Looking at that in more detail, you can see uh, the mixing heights will be fairly high across portions of Nevada, as well as pockets of uh, better transport winds across the area. As we move into Tuesday, we see that northwesterly flow continue across the area, and again looking at the best uh, area of ventilation indices across western Nevada. Looking at Tuesday in more detail, you can see we're looking at much lighter winds area-wide. Uh, those transport winds will be pretty light across the majority of the area, and our mixing heights uh, in kind of the middle range. As we move into Wednesday, we continue to see the northerly flow uh, with high pressure building off to the western part of the Great Basin, and again, seeing the best uh, ventilation indices across western Nevada on Wednesday. Uh, looking at that in more detail, again, really generally light winds across the entire area. We will see some enhanced transport winds across the northeastern portions of the area. Over the next three days, not too much precipitation is expected, and what we do see will fall across the northern parts of the area. As we move into Tuesday, we look at the high pressure building uh, across the area from the west. Ventilation indices will shift to uh, being the best across the southern part of the Great Basin. And then as we move, we move into Friday, uh, high pressure just to our south with another storm system moving into the area. We will start to see ventilation indices improving on Friday as winds increase ahead of that next system. On Saturday, that low pressure system will move through the area. You can see good to excellent mixing across pretty much the entire area on Saturday with that storm system moving through. And then finally on Sunday, another day of that good to excellent mixing uh, with that storm system um, in place across the Great Basin. In the four to five day period, things are looking pretty dry, so that storm system will send a cold front through the Great Basin, uh, but not much precipitation will be associated with it. Finally, in the eight to 14 day period, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for below normal temperatures across the entire area, as well as below normal precipitation for the entire Great Basin. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.